Hello. 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 Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can listen. I see the matrix. Good. Don't forget to smile for the brainwash. The feds are listening. Hala, yes. Data mining, we love you. Data mining. All slaves bow down and make way for the Antichrist. Then burn in hell. Will you resist the beast? I must resist the beast, God willing. Many will worship the false messiah, but we know he is evil. This life is a test. The slaves are sleeping and need to wake up. If they do not wake up then they will never be free. Wake up you sleepy slaves, the government is not your friend, it is destroying your nation. Yes, America is collapsing. The great empire of the world is being destroyed by the people who run it. Europe is going too. And all thanks goes to the bankers who control the money, the greedy lying politicians, and the transnational corporations who treat workers like slaves and only care about money. Democracy is a joke. The slaves are brainwashed never stand up and participate. Everything is designed to keep you asleep and distracted. The people are weak and never allowed to change things. So now the great 14th amendment Roman American Empire is at its end. It is turning into a complete police state. Look to China, that's the future. It's funny, China is more capitalist than America in many ways. And they are building their nation up, investing in infrastructure, securing resources in places like Russia and Africa. The American government gives them treasury notes to pay off our Illuminati bankers and for more wars, and they use the money to build their own country up. China has become the second largest economy in the world. We should learn a few things from them. They are not perfect, but at least they are not destroying their country like the Americans and Europeans are doing. America and Europe are led by maniacs. They think they are gods, they are the Illuminati. The Zionists are a big part of them, and it's the Zionists who control the money and media. They are not religious Jews, they are secular, and many are Satanists. They aren't even usually Jewish, they are Khazars. Many Christians are foolish, and think Israel is a peaceful country. Where do these people live, on another planet? Israel is the most racist nation in the world, they have millions of people in concentration camps. Did you know it's against the law there for a Jew to marry a non-Jew? Yes, they will never have peace there. They will continue to steal the Palestinian land, and once they have it all, they will want more. They run America, no matter who is in the White House. Israel is a puppet too. The Illuminati use them and America, like they use Britain, to destroy the world, and rebuild it under their control. It seems the Illuminati might start a war with Iran. Are they crazy? Oh yes of course, they worship the devil, they are insane. It seems they are trying to start World War 3. Hopefully Russia and China stand up, and say they will not sit by, and do nothing, if the Illuminati attacks Iran. I know that Russia is under heavy pressure from the Zionists, after all, the Zionists were the ones who started the communist revolution. The Chinese are probably less influenced by them, hopefully. After all, they did kick out the Westerners with good reason in the past. I think they have enough problems already, and they are wise, to not want a never-ending war next to them. I guess we'll see how it all goes down. The brave people of Iran are united against their foreign enemies. Those traitor green revolution pawns who are paid off and led by Zionists will never overthrow the Islamic Republic. Why the hell would the Iranians want a secular democracy? Secular democracy is death. Yes, secular democracy is a failed system. It always ends up under control of the Illuminati. It is a weak system and turns the people to mindless fools with no morals. I agree. There are only two systems which should be used in the future. One is a constitutional republic like America was for a while. It hasn't been one since the 14th amendment. We need public central banks, not private, with sovereign governments issuing credit. The other type of system is Sharia, which is Islamic rule. It has many similarities to a constitutional republic and can be one too. It must follow certain Islamic rules, like no interest banking, which is against Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, and is how the Illuminati control the money. Another thing is it has public control of necessary things, like transportation and water resources. It allows capitalism, and business owners are held responsible for the company's actions, unlike here where they get rewarded for crime. Sharia also is different than other systems. It sees the humans as spiritual beings, not just workers to get money from. We were all created. God is in control, we should recognize him as the ruler. 
Yes, Islam is the best way for human beings. We should seek to follow God as best as we can in all things, especially politics. We can build a better world together with all people, they do not have to be Muslim, as long as they are not against us, we can work together. Most people just want to live in peace, and have more self-determination. One world government will not work, we don't want it. Let's go back to being sovereign nations who make their own rules, and don't follow the world government of the United Nations and other world organizations. We can make agreements between nations not giving up all of our sovereignty like the governments have done. We do not know what God is planning for us, or when the Antichrist will come. Let's have hope for the future, that we can avoid a dark age. It's up to all of us to speak the truth and defeat the Illuminati. Death to the Antichrist. Death to the Antichrist.